Once upon a time, there was a wolf. His name was called Mr. Wolf. One day, Mr. Wolf decided to make a chocolate cake. He brought service to his bookcase and he got his recipe book. He sat down on the computer of the chair and began to read his recipe book. Mr. Wolf can't read very well. He was di disappointed that he couldn't read his recipe book. He wondered what to do next. He decided to visit his neighbor and ask for some help. Mr. Wolf approached the Cinderella's gates. He walked to the front. He walked up to the gates and banged on them. It took some time, but suddenly Cinderella came to the gate. Mr. Wolf went to Cinderella's hand and shook her hand. He asked Cinderella to help him. Please, will you help me read my recipe book? Cinderella refuses to help Mr. Wolf and laughs at him. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wolf sat down and put his hands on his head and wondered what to do next. Mr. Wolf goes home to see what he needs. He needs cocoa, milk, sugar and flour. He does to a little bit how to get it he can help. He walked up to the gate. He walked through the gate. And he knocked on a door. Suddenly, all the pigs look out of the window. One of them comes out to see what Mr. Wolf wants. Mr. Wolf asks the three little pigs to help him with his list. The three little pigs shouted, go away. <laughs> Mr. Wolf is unhappy happy that the three little pigs won't help him. He wondered what to do next. Mr. Wolf decides to go to Gingerbread Man's house. I wonder if Gingerbread Man helped me count my money. Mr. Wolf walks up Ginny Redman's pathway and sees his house covered in sweets. I hope Ginger Redman will help me. As soon as Mr. Wolf arrives, Ginger Redman looks out his window to see who it is. He jumps out of his window and says, What do you want, Mr. Wolf? Mr. Wolf says, I want you to help me, gingerbread man. I need you to help me make my chocolate cake and count my money. Mr. Wolf needs gingerbread man's help to help him count his money so he can buy his ingredients. Gingerbread man says, no! Show! Beat it! Mr. Wolf says, No need to be like that, gingerbread man. I only wanted you to help me count my money. Mr. Wolf leaves gingerbread man's house very, not very happy. The w wolf got the visit that was bad enough. Mr. Wolf walks down to Little Red Riding Hood's house. I hope he will help me. I hope I could borrow Little Red Riding Hood's basket. I need to carry my ingredients. Little Red Riding Hood sees Mr Wolf on her path. I wonder what he wants. 
Blow it and then come and see what Mr. Wolf wants. Please can I borrow your basket, Little Red Riding Hood? And he's carrying my ingredients in your basket, Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood says, Get away, you smelly wolf. You don't need to be a bully, Little Red Riding Hood. Mr. Wolf is upset. Nobody will help him. I'll carry the ingredients by myself. And I'll bake the cake myself. Mr. Wolf goes back home to cook the cooked chocolate cake all by himself. Mr. Wolf stands on his chair. He was so happy. I cook the chocolate cake on my own. He hears a knock on the door. The neighbours can smell the chocolate cake. The gingerbread man comes in and says, Mmm. Next, the three little pigs come in. We want our, some of your chocolate cake. Then, then Cinderella comes in. I want some of that chocolate cake too. Little Red Riding Hood comes in. I want some of that chocolate cake. Mr. Wolf invites everybody in and gobbles them up. 